Hey everybody, it's Glenn back with another Clash Royale analysis video. I've been trying to go back to my uh, previous lineup. I've been testing different lineups to get ready for ranked. And I really like the Goblin Barrel Mirror uh, lineup that has uh, Musketeer and Tesla as the big defenders. So this was a really nutty match that kind of grew my faith in this lamp so let's just get to it you're gonna you're gonna see that uh a lot of things could have went uh really differently and and, and and yeah so let's just go with it i have barrel to start with they have um battle healer and balloon so i'm, I'm just going for it right now and they're they they just see they just see barrel and they're like you know what i am <laughs> not even gonna waste time they're just gonna bring long so battle healer comes in and i'm thinking that this could be a elixir golem lineup so i was kind of expecting night witch or elixir golem but they bring lumberjack and balloon so you see what they're trying to accomplish here they're trying to keep balloon healthy but thankfully balloon did not get to the tower and musketeer escaped pretty well so we survived their initial attack. And I don't know why they use that log, knowing that I have barrel, and they've already shown it, but they have arrows. So, so I'm thinking, okay, all right, let's just, it's time to reveal that we have mirror. Okay, so here comes Lumberjack. And at some point I gotta, I gotta drop uh, Tesla. I don't, it was one of those razor hair thin, moves that i thought lumberjack was going to go over to tesla did not and so now they have the lead when they really i want to say they really shouldn't have had the lead so we're just building back up the elixir they bring battle there and i'm kind of expecting again they're going to have a balloon come at some point they've already used lumberjack so there goes Barrel. I'm, I'm really now focusing on defense. They bring Firecracker, which is like, ooh, okay. So I have to play the Tesla up because we have to get rid of Firecracker. So I'm thinking, who are they going to bring next? So they haven't shown all their cards, and there's Baby Dragon. So this is a little scary because Baby Dragon's a hefty, um, a hefty, hefty person. Hefty character. They bring Lumberjack. And I'm guessing Balloon's coming at some point here. So let's just get in a barrel. They kind of uh, blind play that log. Those arrows are really good because it stopped, they stopped that ice spirit. And I want to talk about that for a second because I think the arrows could have... I mean, it was really well... <laughs> I, it was really well placed because they, they got damage on the tower. They stopped the ice spirit. Um, if that ice spirit got on a balloon, I mean, obviously the balloon didn't do anything, but, you know, it's just kind of like being in control of that, uh, being in control of the situation. Because right now they're still in the lead. Using those arrows signify that, okay, they're going to do whatever it takes. They, they, they know they have um, a log to stop my barrel. So... They play first in the back for the ice spirit. I mean, the fire spirit. Here comes Lumberjack. I think a balloon's coming again. So I have to play up because Firecracker is right there. We have to get rid of it. Thankfully, that Tesla ducked. <laughs> this gives me time to, to bring in Musketeer. You get rid of Firecracker. Baby Dragon's coming. I've overplay the barrel. And they, they read it, so they use log. Ideally. Battle healer. I'm hoping to get rid of her. And we have two Teslas. Okay, so this is good. And that Ice Spear just got in ahead of the arrows. We're able to get the Tesla down. Whew. So, this is really scary. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I'm probably going to lose. Because right now, it's down to, they can just pretty much arrow cycle. If they wanted to they can arrow cycle or they can just keep playing balloon and then somehow i guess uh you know the, even if the balloon doesn't hit the tower the the death damage will do enough 
uh, a couple of times. So they have a couple of options to win. I played that barrel terribly. Firecracker comes in. Can't do anything. We try again with another Hail Mary. And that one does something. But they have a big push. And that Firecracker did just enough. I'm thinking, okay, well, this game's over. I don't know what I'm going to do. Here comes a barrel. And we did just enough. I couldn't believe it. Now, okay, I'm going to stop the video right here. Okay. You're going to see we have enough to... Actually, I'm going to fast forward just a little bit more. Okay, so right here. The death damage on the balloon, it's, it's out of range. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I think it's out of range. It may be out of range. <laughs> it may be in range. As you see, I have a fireball and a zap. And all I had to do was drop the zap and I win. So I'm just going to play the next few seconds and you see what happens. I cannot believe that all I had to do was drop the zap and I likely win the game just ahead of the dev damage from the balloon. All I do is play zap and in my mind I'm thinking, oh, oh I'll just drop a fireball because I'm used to like, okay, I just, the kill shot is the fireball. I didn't even think of zap. And by the time I like aimed the fireball on, on the tower and let go, I'm like, oh, I had a zap. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to probably lose this game. And turns out it was tied. And it was unbelievable. So now I'm thinking, okay, somehow we're in over, we're still in overtime. And now we have a minute to figure out, okay, how we're going to get this get this win. With Lumberjack coming heavy down the uh, down the left side, this is, this is still not looking good. This went from, I can't believe we didn't win, to now, I can't believe we're going to lose like this. We play a desperate Tesla. And now we're like, okay, all right, we just have to go for it. I dropped those two two fireballs because we only had a minute left. We have a Tesla, and they, they push forward. What they missed, what they missed by bringing that battle healer in the center was that I still had the Tesla down on the bottom. Now, they're obviously trying to get rid of the Tesla so that the balloon can have a... Uh, a happy time on the Princess Tower. But I think for them, the way they win this game is to just flood the right side with troops. Just bridge spam. And then have me try to figure out exactly what to do instead of having a surprise battle healer. And then try to free up her, uh, try to free up everybody else solo. Having everybody just at the tower. And yeah, I could use a fireball. But I think that probably would have been a better play for them to get this win. Instead, she gets taken out. And this is a little bit more manageable, really. So the balloon gets out of the way. I play the barrel terribly because I'm just like, I'm like in my head. I'm thinking, like, what? How are we in this situation? They try to sneak in the balloon on the center. That doesn't work. We get rid of the balloon. Lumberjack doesn't do anything. And try to get one more push with a barrel. And he, they do. And I can't believe we won that game. Like, I can't believe we won the game after it was clear that we were going to lose it. After it's clear we were going to win it, and after it's clear that there were plenty of opportunities to lose it. This is one of those, yeah, it was one of those I can't believe games <laughs> where where it, it was just so many wild things that, that happened. And, uh, you know, you just, you just thankfully, you just thank, uh, thank somebody, thank, uh, uh, thank the lucky stars and the, uh, you know, on to the next one. But uh, yeah, this was a wild game, and I yeah, I can I couldn't believe <laughs> I couldn't believe that tie in in uh in overtime, and which really should not have happened anyways. But uh, but yeah, all right, I'll just end it here. Another wild game. Uh, yeah, 
It's and and this this is really fun. This is a really fun lineup, and I'm probably going to stick with it. I, I keep saying that with all the lineups I'm playing, but uh, this is a really fun uh, 2.6 lineup. So. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit the like button uh, wherever you're watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button wherever you're watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video.